Hey, what is going on, guys? So today we're going to be talking about Brian Koberger, who is a vegan who has been accused of murdering four students who were attending the University of Ohio back in November. I'm not going to be touching too much on the case. Many other channels have already been doing that. And based on all the evidence, it does seem like he has committed the crimes he's been accused of committing. I want to instead talk about his status as a vegan and some of the things I've been thinking about after discovering he's vegan and some other things that also are based on him being vegan while being held in jail. Oh, and to the anti-vegans watching and some of which I've seen online, using his vegan status as a way to shit on vegans as a whole, let's not forget about all of the people who have been convicted of murder who eat meat. The point I'm making right now is rather obvious, but there's some geniuses in the back that need to hear it. Now, in regards to Brian, I can't find any evidence online of what his motivations were for being vegan. It becomes hard to believe that it could have been for ethics, assuming he has done what he has been accused of doing. Although I have encountered some vegans online who claim to hate humanity, and have said other scary things, but these vegans seem to be very rare. Oh, and just to be clear, killing innocent human beings is not vegan in case anybody was wondering. So something his aunt said has been making the headlines about how he was very OCD and that he refused to have his vegan food prepared in pots and pans that had previously been used to cook animal products or meat. As a result, his aunt and uncle had to buy new pots and pans for him to use. I've seen both extremely health conscious people who identify as vegan, who don't care about what happens to animals, exhibiting similar behavior, as well as ethical vegans who do claim to refuse to purchase and eat animal products for reasons solely related to promoting animal rights. It doesn't seem too unreasonable to think that both of these types of people who identify as vegan could make such demands. Extremely health conscious people can just be weirdly convinced that using a set of pot and pans that has never used any animal products would have them in a better state of health than if they were to use pots and pans that have used animal products. And this does come across as a little bit OCD, partially because I don't see how a person's health would be better using pots and pans that have never touched animal products as opposed to pots and pans that have been used to cook animal products, especially ones that have been thoroughly cleaned. And ethical vegans may just feel morally obligated to never use cooking supplies that has once been used to cook the dismembered body parts of innocent beings who they wish for to have rights. It could also, for both types of people, just be a purely repulsion or emotional type of thing. My point here is that this whole pots and pans thing can go either direction in determining what his motivations were for being vegan. Now, interestingly, he allegedly managed to leave one of his murder victims dogs alive. Some speculate that he may have done this due to his vegan belief system. But of course, his motivations for being vegan, like I said before, aren't too clear given all the info we have on him. So this is just speculation at best. And to be honest, due to my ignorance on the subject, I'm not too sure how frequent it is that murderers tend to leave dogs or other non-human animals alive after killing human beings. So if you're somebody who's really into true crime and have any idea or statistics on this, then let me know because I'm just curious at this point. And here's something else I found very interesting. I've seen some knee-jerk reactions people have been having after discovering that the jail he's being held in in Monroe County is willing to make accommodations for his vegan diet. Spoke with the later county sheriff. He says he has heard nothing out of the ordinary with Kohlberger in the jail so far. He says they are trying to accommodate Kohlberger's vegan diet restrictions, but we are not going to buy new pots and pans or anything like that. It's funny that, that they're even talking about like special accommodations. Like they don't do that for anybody. It's American prison, man. It's literally f a violation of human rights uh, for, for everyone, regardless of how severe the crime is. You know what I mean? They don't make accommodate. They they're he's in prison. He's f I've seen some reactions saying things like, I don't feel like we should cater to people's dietary desires. He murdered four people. They can't ever choose what to or what to not eat again. He shouldn't get any special treatment of food unless for religious reasons. Yeah, they need to stop bending over backwards for these criminals. Mail isn't supposed to be comfortable or convenient. He should get the same meal everyone else gets. He can eat it or pass and go without. Now, why do I find this interesting? Well, let's imagine his motivations for being vegan are purely ethical, as hard as that is to believe. I would never want to accommodate him for his sake. I mean, given the criminal accusations and evidence, the guy seems like a giant piece of sh but I would want to accommodate him for the animal's sake. Some of the reactions to him being accommodated for really show how disconnected many people are from the concept of animal rights. People are thinking he murdered four people. He shouldn't have the right to be accommodated. So serve him up some murder chicken or cow. Surely if we take issue with him murdering innocent people, we probably shouldn't murder cows, pigs and chickens so that they can be consumed by the murderer, right? 
And again, this wouldn't be to accommodate this human scum's preferences, but instead the preferences of the animals who would rather not be murdered. And I could already hear the people in the back hearing what I'm saying and responding saying, well, humans and animals are different. To which I would just ask, if somebody was convicted of killing an animal and was in jail, and they had a preference to not eat humans, surely you would want to accommodate this preference, not for the killer's sake, but for the human sake who would otherwise have to be killed had you not accommodated the animal killer's preference. And if you understand this, then why would we act in favor of human rights in the hypothetical, but not in favor of animal rights in the situation with Brian? What is the morally relevant difference between humans and animals? such that if a criminal didn't want to eat humans, we would accommodate that preference. But if a criminal didn't want to eat animals, we wouldn't accommodate that preference. So just one more hypothetical to put this conundrum really into perspective. Imagine if it were in fact established that Brian was, in his head, an ethical vegan and wanted to be served plant products over animal products purely for the sake of animal rights. People disconnected from animal rights may think, well, f that guy. He doesn't deserve to have his preferences accommodated for. Let's go murder some animals so this alleged murderer is forced to eat murdered animals. Imagine if somebody went to jail for abusing and killing his neighbor's dog. But this animal abuser had a preference to not eat humans or even cows for some weird moral reason. And I'm saying weird because, you know, this guy literally just killed and abused a dog. But anyway, surely we'd understand the irony of refusing to not kill a human or a cow for this person to eat simply because they themselves killed a dog or committed a crime. All right, guys, that is the end of the video. Just some things I've been thinking about after reading through this case and finding out this dude was apparently a vegan. If you support my work and want to get early access to it, you can click the link in the pinned comment and support me on Patreon. And if you don't know, I do have a book going over most, if not all of the anti-vegan arguments you're gonna hear online. If you wanna get access to that as well, that'll be linked in the pinned comment. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video dude fuck off sorry. i don't want anything to do with you don't ever speak to me again you're a fucking piece of shit even vegans don't get your weird stupid wannabe sense of irony here who is your audience nobody gets these dumb jokes dude